Oh, I'm recording. Oh. Do you have anything to say, Jay? After a uh, long day? I'd like to thank the, the fans for being here. A brutal one. I've never done it, but. I think that's Bedouin right there. Let's go up through the woods, climb to the moon. There's the Tom Simpson Memorial. And Paul has just said, put me back on my bike. <laughs> I said I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> We've made the ascent, so it's exactly. all downhill from here. Exactly. As long as I don't do anything. I've been riding at least for two years. <laughs> Yes, his next climb is going to be Alpe d'Huez in exactly. 2011. <laughs> so. I'm going to do every Alp once every two years until I have a heart attack. Exactly, with no training. I'm assuming today I don't have one. <laughs> so this is how I'm looking and feeling after uh, Mont Ventoux today. I'm not sure how fast we climbed. It was under three hours, but... Um, the time was much shorter than that because um, we got kind of messed up at the beginning. There was a big um, market going on in the town of uh, Bedouin, and we had to wait for, um, or we had to walk our bikes through there. We kind of missed a turn at the beginning. So I have to look at the Garmin and see how fast uh, we were. But I, I felt really good about it. It was a hard, hard day but so much fun and such a major accomplishment. Lance Armstrong says it's the hardest climb in France, the hardest climb on the tour. And uh, Chris Carmichael also says the same thing. So Paul was amazing. I mean, he did no training it whatsoever. He's, he's been on the bike uh, yesterday and today. The, the last time before that was um, one of the Livestrong challenges, I think in Austin two years ago. So for him to, uh, to pull this off to shows you what natural talent he's got so um, it was just an amazing trip so a couple other quick things on um, the first night we were here we went out with the Livestrong guys with um, Bart Nags and Bill Stapleton who worked closely with Lance and they took us to um, the, uh, the famous restaurant in Ez, Ez Village um, actually and the name just escapes me. It means golden goat. And Christian told me that we had to go there. It was just amazing. The views were spectacular. We had a bottle of champagne, then two bottles of red and two bottles of white. White first, then red. I had blue lobster. I had old tomatoes. It was incredible. 
Um, there was seven of us. Uh, one of the guys uh, was a or is a screenwriter, and the other one is a movie producer. He's done um, like the Born Identity series, and he's good friends with Jimmy Buffett. And he was telling us that Jimmy's coming over for one of the stages. He's going to ride in a team car, and uh, um, apparently Jimmy's just written a new song that's called uh, Pussy Never Loses. So that'll be interesting. That's all about when that comes out. So I'm on the train now. Um, Paul did an amazing job driving us out to Vaughn 2. Uh, we got out there and it was 305k. We only made one wrong turn. It was when I anticipated a, a turn from the A7 to the or from the A8 to the A7 a little early and got us going to Marseille instead of Avignon. Uh, but we corrected that, and got up there with no problem. Um, the ride down here, what he did is he stayed in San Tropez with uh, Ilsa, so he dropped me off at the train station in San Rafael, and it's about an hour ride up the coast um, to Nice, and then I switch there and jump on the train to Monaco. So hopefully I'll be home in an hour and a half and get in the shower and um, get a good night's sleep. Here's something that amazed me. You can pretty much wear jeans anywhere in uh, Monaco. You don't have to bring slacks anymore, or of course shorts. Like uh, when we went to uh, the uh, Golden Goat place, um, we all wore, wore jeans and just uh, golf shirts or button-down short sleeve shirts. So you can um, just be comfortable. Oh, yesterday when we um, did the bike ride, we, we rode the Category 3 climb on the tour called La Corbie. And um, when we um, came back, we rode down the descent into Monaco. And Paul and I did probably half of the Grand Prix track. And we came around to the start finish line, and Paul stopped, and I had to do like a full lap just to. Um, to, to say I, I drove the course even though it was on a bike, but um, very cool. We spent a lot of time on, uh, on the Grand Prix track, either walking it or riding it on the bikes. Um, we also did part of the climb out of Monaco for the first stage, so we actually did parts of the first day and the second day, and then the penultimate day that'll happen um, two weeks from Saturday when everything's decided on the 2009 tour at Mont Ventoux, the giant of Provence. And uh, that's it. We just went through Cannes and we should be back in Nice in about 25 minutes time.